Bonsoir. Bonjour. We reversed it today. Ooh la la. Why? It's happy, exceptional Pinot Day. That's right. The, is it National Pinot or International Pinot Day? Boy, that's just a good excuse to talk about a glass of Pinot. <laughs> On that note, that's all I needed. Okay. We're having Pinot. Salute. From the Russian River. I mean, be darn. We are dairy. We're taking with about ladies, ladies and leading Pinot for all the ladies who love Pinot and all the Pinot who adore ladies. You see, it's a beautiful story because you old ladies are very emotional and sensitive about Pinot. Pinot really brings and transcend the flavor of food and wine. I agree. I, I was I, raised with this. I think, yeah, you had the fortune of growing up as mommy's milk and then Pinot Noir. Well, so that works I, very well. My mother, luckily, when his Pinot was in charge, of, so I never really had milk that much. <laughs> right, mother? We love you. Um, um, that's great. Super good. Typical, not typical wine, but typical Russian river stylings. Mm. Really good strawberry notes. Really good deep actually not that deep kind of raspberry notes it's kind of again yeah. I, I love the balance of the things that end up happening when you just leave them alone when you do things sustainably and organically and you take care about the the, the earth and the, the world that you're living in you can find great balance in the products naturally as they emerge and it's open top fermented long maceration program Brian Maloney does an incredible job and the loach is one of the most accoladed Pinot Noir winery ever in the Russian River. I can drink this for breakfast every day. Well, I'm sorry, I can drink this every day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll leave half a bottle oh, for tomorrow morning when we arrive. So now, Todd is our incredible cheesemonger. You all know from the famous Oakville Grocery, the most historical destination on Highway 29 in the West Coast of the United That's States. True. Uninterrupted, open grocery, oldest of west of the Mississippi. It's a pretty big deal. It is a big deal. And now we have an amazing assortment thanks to Todd. And we're going to try something. We're going to try a couple of things. We have great cheeses at the Oakville. Everybody come by and see us. Um, and great meats and salamis too. But today we're going to talk about one really beautiful, crazy great French cheese. And the first, well, we're going to start with a, a local cheese. This is grown, well I say grown because the, the, it's a farmstead product called um, Boone's, Cor Boone's Corner. This is their aged wheel. Penny Royal Farms is the maker of this cheese, and on, on the Penny Royal Farms, they have they have vines and they make wine, and they have animals and they make cheese, and they have produce and they go to the farmers market in the. They in have the a, Anderson Valley. an idealistic life. Beautiful. This is kind of the dream, right? Who doesn't want to do that? Yeah, uh, it's so amazing there too. And if you have the chance on the 128, about halfway to Fort Bragg, it's a bit of a hoof. But when you get out there, you get a. It's a. You get a. First off, it's kind of a fun drive. If you have a great car, if you have a, if you have something that starts with an F or an L or a P, you should drive out there. Um, what is the P? Porsche. Oh, I Porsche see. Of course. Of I realized they're dirty. I thought you were going to go French with Bugatti. I guess, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I could have said T for Tesla. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, because uh, we are sustainable. That's here right. We're trying to do that. Um, oh, this is insane. great. So, Have you smell it? Smell it with me. Oh, that's a couple of guys. Let's do that again. Oh. oh. <laughs> It's better when we both have a nose on something than just one. This, this, I was going to wrap this piece and sell it to somebody tomorrow, but probably not. Well, let me, um, let me make sure you don't. one of you guys. You know, dear uh, friends, look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure he oh, does no. it. Oh, God. So no, I can don't take do it, it home. Don't do it. Oh. Ugh. Oh. I don't even want to watch. From the other side. I don't even want to watch. Gina, are you watching? There is something fundamentally... My body is going to be so pure and cruel. fabulous. There is something cruel to animals going on here. <laughs> we might as well taste the untouch That's, before I do something with it. Don't hurt this, this one. This is for you. So, this cheese is their aged cheese. They're, it's called Boone's Reserve. They have... they have, It's a sheep and goat. So, a nice blend of cheese. <laughs> Did I really do that? Sorry, um, teaching. A nice blend of cheeses, a ah. nice blend of milks that they keep on the property. But what's notable about it is when this cheese arrives... And you know what it's cool for aperitif? It's easy. 
You know, whenever you don't want to finish it and have a glass of wine. You know what, if they're really cool, they would make what they would make that as a Wi-Fi, like a little piece of cheese in your ear that also takes phone calls. Well, we could do it. Let's see if my phone rings. Maybe my phone is going to ring. Hello. We never know. I have an antenna now. Okay, well, let's keep going. Madame Boisset clearly did not tell Jean Charles to not play with his food. The antenna is working. There we go. Bonjour, Gina. Hi, oh, Gina. you want two kilos of it because I rubbed it on my body? Perfect. Well, I hope many more people call because this is exciting. I know it's going to taste a lot better with a little bit of my hair on my chest on it. I agree. Thank you, love. So if you want your cheese rubbed on Jean Charles's chest, you're going to have to call a little bit in advance, but we can certainly make that happen. Um, when this cheese arrives, the name of the animals is on the box. So it's a very, very farmstead experience that we're having here, but somehow the cheese is lost. Oh, I'm getting it's another the, phone call. It's because you see it's when it's I so do exciting. that. It's, it's, oh, Julia, how are you? Such a pleasure, Julia. Oh, oh, you want the cheese that I rub? Are you ready to pay more than Gina? Because that's important. It's, it's becoming an auction. I, wow. Gina wanted two kilos. How many do you want? Four? You'll pay double than Gina if I rub it on my left chest. Okay. Rarely do you see a cheese meat We're more than... We're making money talk today. Usually a cheese... It's all yours. Cheeses only have the one nipple, and that would be the cows or the sheeps or the goats. But now, your cheeses with a secondary nipple infusion can be yours here at the Elkville so Grocery. Todd, but you're going to have to call it in. The I need to give you a confidence. I was born with a third nipple. So I'm ready to throw a challenge. If you rub it on my back to my third nipple, would I get another phone call from someone who is ready to bid? Actually, for three times the price that Gina originally To get goes. me to do that? Yeah. Just go in the middle of my back. Just I think, I think there whatever you, it's you big. You rub it. No. We're doing it. Ah, this is ah. just... Cheese this is, is all about the human touch. It really is. Maybe I'm going to get another phone call. I'm hoping it rings. Oh, God. If we, oh, please. That's why I was thinking like a bell would be great. I'm hoping. Oh, wow. Who could the it be? The phone is ringing. Either way, this is yours. <laughs> oh, Karen, how are you? Who's Karen? Oh, well, Karen is a great friend. Oh. Karen likes the third nipple. Are you sure you want it? Now we went on to my two chest and my back and the, nipple. The back nipple. The you want to pay five to times more, not three times, just because. It's all yours, Karen. Thank you for calling. I'll come and taste it with you. What about <laughs> that? That sounds, that sounds serious. Dear friends, this is how the auction world of cheese happened. Now I'm ready to read it. Four nipples, one cheese. It's your move. <laughs> So um, now we know all about so it. So this is boot, the boot farm. I'm going to keep Pretty this one cool. away from I know. Now this is over. Going God, away. Going away. my nipples feels good. I feel I'm, light and energized. See, that is what... Am I that smelly? What, yes. Uh, you smell? uh, uh, the, that is what farmstead cheese will do to you. You never know. It's like Beethoven in that way. People react differently. Um, so, so I think Frank Litz came from Hungary. The Hungarian came in 1812. And we're the talking, Russians. We're in about the about Russian River. Talking, oh, yeah. Let's right. finish it. Okay. Because so now I want to have you try something amazing. Oh, ho, ho, that was so good. Now, dear friends, we're going to go to the French world, Côte du Rhône. Ah. Beautiful crest of Bonpa. One of our wineries, Bonpa, it's an old monastery from 1318. Dear friends, they used to rub cheese on their legs, on their arms. The monks made the best cheese ever. And still today, it's all about rubbing. <laughs> so, God, what's wrong with us? The, the uh, oh. what's fun about the Rhone is if you're a Rhone drinker, or if you like any of those wines, if you land in Marseille and start driving toward the winery, you'll pass by these signs for your favorite wine, like yeah. Saint Joseph, uh, uh, Gigonda, Condrieu, right. and goes on and on. And you're going, oh, I love this stuff. Ah, oh, every like I wanted to, I wasn't driving. What about Vaquejas? I like Vaqueras. It's pretty good too. Right? I like Bondola as well. You and like you love Chateau Neuf. Chateau Neuf is the, the. If you have never had a Chateau Neuf de Pop, you should treat yourself to that. It's traditionally a 
uh, Grenache, Mouvedre, Syrah blend, and it's just can be the most beautiful thing ever. And you know, we make it both ways. So for our Chateau Neuf du Pape, with Bon Pape, Grenache is dominant. Right. For Louis Bernard, which is our other winery in the world, Syrah is dominant. So you have really true two types of Chateau Neuf. And here, we have an amazing blend of the Côte du Rhône, which makes this so exciting to serve that cheese that I cannot wait. And I promise I'm not going to rub it anywhere. Ah! Oh, but the nose. It's smell yeah. this. Mongol is a beautiful thing. This is one of the cheeses wow. that we feature in the store. We, t we have a lot of cheeses that are in small format. And the reason is because people tend to come in here and want to go on a picnic. So now I'm a Mongol from Mongolia almost, as you can see. A Mongol. Same name, almost. And you are going outside of Paris here, which is very Can cool. I cut this one? Yeah. Let's get a knife. Maybe we no, do it. Oh, you like that little I thing? Do. Actually, I like the start of the knife. Yeah, it's easier with the knife, right? Oh, did you see that? He's doing the incision. Yeah, I always have a hard time with this, but wow. That, my friends. This is insane. Like, you can say what you want about Calistoga and the mud baths, but I'm right here. I can see this is going into a perverse and strange direction yet again. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I'm gonna what set, else? I'm going to set this down. Devin on this little is going on a date. That is for He's you. He's going to take one of the cheese. Yeah. You know what Dylan wanted to do with that cheese? Rub it on his girlfriend's body. Oh, that's a good idea. I hope he finally does it soon. But, dear friends, what is so cool with this cheese? You go outside of Paris and you have some of the most amazing cows. Hence, Francois I, Hans, with a 14, with a 15. And this is really that region that is so magical. And you could see it's in Rousset, sur Seine. This is where it's made. And this is probably one of the most rich cheese of France. For those, that, for those of you who are thinking that this cheese looks delicious but is could be a complete mess on your picnic, it comes in this handy wood box. So basically all you have to do is take the plastic off, lift the lid, and start scooping like, like salted whipped cream with a rind. So that's the Grand Mongol. It's delicious. We have a lot of these at the Oakville Grocery. As we're moving into the fall, it's going to be even more on demand that we have these beautiful uh, uh, soft triple creams, the unctuous, the luxurious uh, cheeses that are, um, we have some American ones too, by the way, but there's this one, there's Charos, yeah. and we have a mini oh, Brio Sauron. Is incredible. We're still featuring Libero and um, yep. Bonavec from Normandy, and so these are also just big. You gotta kinda like cheese, but if you like cheese, these are cheeses for you. This is a grand drink. So now with the Chateauneuf, what we okay. have here? So one of the things, again, about last year's Curious, thank you very much. Because I know. Because you know I have to drive home. Because of the pandemic, we had limited sources. You know what? It finally got to the place where we would call our, our resources and they would say, no, we don't have it. And we need this. No, we can't. We need that. No, we can't. So we had to find some substitutions. And in the course of finding substitutions for Copa, I found yeah. two remarkable things that are on our shelf now and are going to be permanent. One is... A lamb prosciutto from really? from Brooklyn cured. A lamb. This is a let me show a picture to wow. the camera of how beautiful this is. It's a tied cured lamb. It's done in New York City. New York City, they have lamb. Yes, they have lamb. It's brilliantly done. And you again, this is one of these products that you gotta like lamb to like this product. Wow, this right? Is it's great. It's like medium rare lamb prosciutto. Brilliant. And lamb is such a delicate, beautiful. And if lamb and chardonnay for pop or Cote de Rhone wow. is mm. built for each other. I'm so much agreeing with you. Yeah. Lamb chops and Cote de Rhone. And next time you have lamb chops, have a Cote de Rhone. Next time you have a Cote de Rhone, make some lamb chops. Will you? And have Copa. Trust have us. And, and then, then what's the other one? This you're going to like this. We couldn't get any the copa that we use traditionally is Copa Piancentini D.O.P. It's an Italian copa. Couldn't get that. So we got a Spanish copa. And lo and behold, it's made from the black Iberican pig. And even better, it's Bellota. 
So the pig itself was fed the entire existence on acorns. Wow. The pigs are lined up against a stand of acorns, and in the morning they are let out. Out they go into the acorn field and eat nothing but acorns all day, all night, for their whole lives. You can only imagine how unsightly they are. They're pigs. But anyway, uh, delicious pigs. And this is the copa of Belota, which I think you're going to like even... I'm insane for it. I just tried it. Yeah. Try it and describe it for us. Okay. This is, dear friends, my favorite ham in the world. I love Italian, San Daniele. Yep. We've had it. I had the jambon de Paris. Of course. Obviously, the Bayonne ham, which is amazing. Great. Obviously, the prosciutto di Parma, average great, but this is close to the Ramon Iberico, Velota, Velota, they eat black acorn, that's it. it. it black makes, food. That's right. If there was anything to make you not kosher, this should be it. Um, the upside of this is that the acorn is flavored in the fat. When you eat a Velota or even Serrano, basically, the flavor of the meat is really in the fat. That's the upside. The other upside, there's no downside, by the way. The other upside is there's lots of fat in here. So I suppose if you have a, if you have a, I don't, like, if you come in here and ask me to make this lean for you or trim it, I'm going to suggest no. And so I want yeah, you, you to go eat somewhere the fat else. and yeah. just let the fat lay down. Take and it's going else. to be all of the acorn That's bite. Right. And then the, yeah. Not go somewhere else. There's lots hey, of other go stuff. Go somewhere man. else as a choice. Go somewhere else, like over there. English. Not go somewhere else. After like a bottle outside. of Chateau Neuf, a it bottle like, of Gordon Brown, a bottle have, of Russian River. What do you expect? Men have That's misspoken. Just, People misspeak. Never happened. Sorry. Too. Sorry, all my ex girlfriends. That's why, dear friends, we use our body, our nipples, everything we can find to age cheese. That's right. So I look, think, look, Todd, look. that was amazing. Time. What a lot of fun. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm eating below here. What do you we want to love do? it from, oh, from his nipples to your mouth, both farm, <laughs> from your mouth to my body. Who knows? Oh my God! <laughs> sorry again, Jim. And then, beautiful. Look at this lineup. So we, we're going to call this 2002 replacement charcuterie because we found it during. Here it goes. Maybe I should it put it be between my shirt. Listen, if you just were, to say goodbye. If you were Lady Gaga and you were cool, you do a you do a whole suit out of a Iberico. Hey, here it is. It's not the meat dress, but it's Iberico. But it's salty. And the copa dress. Ah, come and reach for it. See you soon. Salute.